Hello Dream Team, welcome back to our podcast. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, beautiful people, Dream Team, welcome to another exciting installment of Here's a Thought with the Max. My name is Lerato Macheta. And I am Petola Macheta. Yeah, so beautiful, so you know handsome. what it is. Stop it. I said it first. Because it's a competition. Oh, nice. Guys, if ever you're going to enter a competition, yeah. it would be who's going to compliment who better every single day. I love it. Guys, it's so good to be back. Yeah. This video is in partnership with Okta FX. Let's get it. As an entrepreneur, a wife and mother, I'm a woman that prides herself in not just wearing different crowns, but wearing them well. And I've learned that preparation is the key to unlocking a future with limitless possibilities. A trending theme in my life right now is finding ways to diversify my income. And so I've downloaded the OctaFX trading app, opened a demo account, and now I'm learning how to trade. OctaFX is a reliable global forex trading platform that offers a high-end trading experience to more than 12 million trading accounts in 150 countries. The best advantage for me among other forex brokers is that with OctaFX I can learn how to trade before switching to real trading. You can do the same and you can switch to the real account as soon as you find your trading strategies. I'm wearing my financial crown well with OctaFX. Are you? Guys, bon, the Lodi Chen cheats, guys. You understand? Yeah, man. No, it's about time, you know, some people start pay, paying some bills up in this house. Hey? Yeah, man. You did so well. You were amazing. Thanks, my love. And I think, you know what, guys, um, if you're going to do it, uh, trading does involve a, a level of risk. So please just make sure that you do your research and do the right thing, guys. Mm. Yeah, man. You know, you always say that you want, you would do anything for a woman who can do everything for herself. Come on. So, um, you know what? I'm, I'm fetching my life. You, you smashed know? it. Yeah. You and smashed it. Guys, did you see my wife with a <laughs> weave? <laughs> a whole <laughs> weave. She looked great. Guys, um, this is why we're having this conversation. Yes. No? This conversation was inspired by... Your weave. No. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. No, I don't know what we're talking about, but yeah. um, we were speaking about whether couples are intimidated by each other's success. And we yeah. wanted to have this conversation. Yeah. And I think that's why for me it's so important, guys, to to really invest in my own... I was about to say my own future. <laughs> yes. In my own future. Yeah, I, I wanted for sure. to say it, but then I felt bad. Cause why? Because I felt like, am I saying that you don't have my bag? That's why it's yeah. important for us to have this conversation. Have this conversation. Because I always say that sometimes we expect too much from our partners. Yeah. We burden our partners so much because you're like, no, I need you to have my back. I need you to support me. Yeah. But you're not willing to go out there and support yourself. You're not willing to go out there and back yourself up. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so I understand where the anxiety of saying that came from, but I'm very secure in the man that I have been to you yeah. in my level of support for you and yeah. the things that you want to do. So much so that I've said to my wife, baby, Find your own Find dreams, your own fetch your life. <laughs> fetch your You know life. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy when I see you, you know, walking in the in the streets, you know, and and and, and your hair's meeting. your wind is blowing. <laughs> the, the the wind is blowing in your hair and you're you know going to meetings and taking names and securing bags. I'm like, yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. And you know, baby, with this conversation, I think it's a very important conversation because yeah. I know that sometimes i might be wrong but i find that sometimes men are more intimidated by their partner's success yes. as opposed to women because as women yeah. i think as women you know you are socialized that yeah. it is the man's duty to provide so you want your man to do well i think it's the man's duty you know? to provide so 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 i think that with most men i could be wrong but yeah. research shows that a lot of really really successful women yeah. struggle in the dating arena for sure they struggle to find partners they struggle to settle down because sometimes men are just intimidated by successful women and i think maybe we also need to to qualify what does success look like yeah right because 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 i feel like it, it can't just be 
a monetary issue. Yeah. But the world has made it that, for sure. you know. I think that men should be intimidated by successful women. Okay, that's I interesting. I absolutely think that they should. Yeah. What they do with that information, though, what they do with that intimidation is what separates boys from men. Oh, like All right? that. Yeah. And so I want my wife to challenge me by living, by being the best version of herself. Mm. Every time I look at her, it should challenge me, not intimidate me, challenge me. I should be like, yo, Lerato, what are you doing with your life? Look at your wife going out there, securing deals, everything. She's, she's, she makes sure that she dresses the part, she looks the part, she's confident, she is, um, uh, she's, what's the word, um, uh, improving herself mm. um, in, in schools, the, 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 the things that she, she chooses to watch, the conversations that she chooses to have, the company that she chooses to keep, those things need to challenge me as a person, as my life also needs to challenge her. To be like, yeah. wow, man, you know, this guy is, is doing well. So, yeah. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Yo. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I'm so glad that you said that, baby, because I'm not sure. We, I feel like we're not having the right conversations, right? Mm. Because we spoke about how relationships need to be mutually beneficial. Yeah. Right? You, you like speaking about that to say, Absolutely, guys, yes. let's not fool ourselves to yeah, say yeah, yeah. that, oh, I don't want anything from that relationship. Yeah, no, I don't no, want to no. get anything back from that relationship. Yeah. We are in this marriage because sure. we're mutually, it's mutually beneficial. benefiting from yeah, each other. For sure. And I also, I love, love what you're saying about being challenged mm. but not being intimidated mm. because we speak about as iron sharpens iron so one For man sure. sharpens another For sure. right so i need to you you need to help me want to be the best better version of myself yeah, yeah. you know and not to 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 sort of kawa because i find that sometimes with women what we do is then we dim our own light yeah. sometimes it's not even the man that dims your own mm. light i mean baby even in our experience like I've always said that I'm nervous about earning more money than you. Yeah. Because I just don't know if I'll act right. Well, uh, and, and so am I. I. Just, I just don't know. If I'm I also can, nervous about my I wife can, earning more than me. You know. You know, yeah. Submit. And, For sure. Right? Yeah. But I, I find that because, and, and I don't know, because, because it shouldn't be like that. Why, no, why, 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 why am I not acting right when, I make, when I'm making more money than oh, you? Oh, you're talking about the acting right part. It shouldn't be no, like acting that. acting right. Like, cause yeah. I just, I, I've said this so many times, baby. And I pray for you to be... You know, there are other women out there that are just like, no, I don't mind. I can make more money than my husband. But mm. personally, I feel like I might struggle. Well, I mean, I think self-awareness is a good thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and to be honest, I think I might struggle as I did in the past. So, what, you know? Okay, I'm so glad that you said in the past. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What made you struggle in the past? So, so, so this is a conversation that I, I, I remember having recently, actually. Mm. You know, part of the issue with, with not showing up the way that you need to show up um, whether it be financially, physically, emotionally, in, in whatever way you need to show up as a man, right? As I believe that a man should show up, right? The issue with that is lines become blurred and now you no longer know how to relate because you are positioned incorrectly. What do I mean by that? When I'm bringing the bacon home, and my wife says to me, hey, baby, can you take care of dinner? I can take care of dinner. Yes. When my wife is bringing the bacon home and she says, hey, baby, can you take care of the dinner? I'm offended. You're Mosey. Now I'm like, oh, <laughs> so now you're asking me to cook because I'm not bringing the yeah. bacon home. Right. So now suddenly jokes are no longer jokes. They don't land as jokes because now I'm wondering if you're disrespecting me. Ooh. Do you understand? So, 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 automatically, our 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 point of departure is screwed because the foundation is already shaky. Now you can't be normally 
tell a joke about another couple and mm. oh, what are they whatever whatever where we would have laughed like as a couple he just got her push present right yeah now i'm like oh what you trying to say yeah. right yeah. but if i'm taking care of business then i'm like wow that's dope i i even get to celebrate them mm. with you because i know that it's cool like i'm i'm taking care of business so the intimidation comes from not being self positioned not being properly positioned that's not what you say not being properly positioned cuz cuz i think baby i had this conversation and i don't want you guys to walk away from this conversation confused cuz i know that there's a whole conversation that's going out there about you know in dota mas you yeah. know and and i find that a lot of men are struggling to be in relationships mm. when they feel like so uh, um, economically yeah. they are not positioned on a set, on a certain level and i remember having this conversation with lavata and i said you know what baby i think there are it's it's relative you know mm. you like to say no a man must make money yeah right but i sometimes feel like as as a society we 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 take it out of context to say a man must be rich and the reality is not everyone can be rich a man right? must provide do you see what i mean because i feel like that's where as a society we're missing it and yeah. people are missing out on good relationships because they feel like a, the, a man doesn't have this much money yeah right so i just want to be correct to say what does provide look like does provide look like you making more money than me or does provide meaning that you can take care of something uh, so pr- provision is in intention okay so so i think it's important that when you enter a relationship look at what a man's desire is if you come into the relationship you guys are dating you're working he doesn't have a job but he's happy to sit on the couch and watch tv all day and not go out and try to make something mm. of his life then he doesn't intend on providing for you ooh that, that in in whichever way for in whichever shape. way so in, so he's he's communicating to you that i'm i'm not i'm I I don't intend on providing for you emotionally, Ooh. physically, financially. I I'm 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 rendering myself useless. I'm I'm almost uh okay with the fact that my woman's going to take care of business. Hmm. And that for me is problematic because like I've said before, I don't think that as men we were built that way. Hmm. And so we're always going to be out of balance. Yeah. And yeah. this is where now you start to find guys that are that are emotionally abusive to their partners because what you're doing is you're not living up to your full potential and when you see your wife taking care of what you need to be taken care of whether you want to admit it or not what you're going to do is you're going to start to dumb her down and you're going to start to 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 emotionally abuse her so that you can have a false sense of taking your rightful place as the provider mm. but you're not providing you know babe as we're having this conversation i'm reminded of in my earlier days of yeah. dating before i met you yeah i think sometimes it's not even about whether a man can provide or not because you find that there are men out there who are positioned well financially but sure. they still are challenged by their partner's success you know right. especially in terms of a woman who's successful in their career i find that men if we're successful spiritually emotionally and otherwise they're okay with that mm. but the the one that challenges them the most is the career side mm. of things so i yeah. find that i remember when i was i was dating this 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 guy um many years ago and this guy many, was many 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 many, 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 <laughs> many years ago <laughs> before you were even born. many 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 years ago yeah. and he was doing really well yeah. but i picked up the i mean i was i was even in varsity mm. and he had just you know started working and he was doing really well and i could see that this person was intimidated i remember when i would succeed in my studies or when i graduated you know he was he would sort of try to compare our achievements 
to be like when when I, when when you speak about okay I'm graduating this and this and mm. this and that I got this you know I achieved an A in this and this what and he would start talking about his achievements mm. see to say yeah you know I just closed this deal I just did that I just did that and I think sometimes men don't notice it so as a woman if you find or if you you're trying to date or are looking to to be with someone or are with someone that is a red flag yeah. when you start doing well at work or you get a promotion and the person wants to have a one over you. And I think it's also worth just bringing it up. Yeah. So if you find yourself in that kind of relationship, bring it up, mention mm. it. The, b- by the way, we've got our own blind spots, right? That yeah. we, we teach each other, we help each other to be like, oh snap, I didn't realize that I do that. This isn't one of those things that we personally struggled with. But I think it, it, it doesn't mean you know, drop that dude, you know what I mean? It's more like, or, or, or drop that lady, you know, if you feel like she's, she's holding you back. Mm. Um, there could be so many reasons as to why people are like that. And sometimes they don't even see themselves. They don't even see that, sure. oh gosh, this is how I'm behaving toward, toward my partner. Rather interrogate it, rather have the conversation. And if somebody's not willing to then um, work on it, uh, willing to actually see themselves or see the situation for what it is, then make a decision based on that. But rather have the conversation. But I agree. And I, I think agree. It's, a, it's a society thing. You know, you yeah. buy a house and people are like, oh, girls with title deeds. Now yeah. they're making it about themselves. That yeah. oh, now we all have houses. You yeah. know, so it's not just, okay, let's celebrate this person. Yes, we all have houses. Yeah. But today... It's about That's good. It's about this person. That's good. It's not about all oh, girls with AMGs. We all yeah. have no we're not yeah. you're, you know we are happy for you Ooh, but I today love, I love what you're saying let's celebrate because this one. I love what you're saying because yeah. competition, guys. Competition will rob you mm. of joy, of peace, of your own inner peace. Your your inability to just celebrate other people and be like, wow, you yeah. did that, man. And and you rocked and you you know what I'm saying? And just this idea that 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 what has been set aside for you is tailor made and perfectly fit like yeah. for you you know what i mean and don't always be looking over over over, over the wall you know at your neighbor mm. and being like oh you know i wish i could have this and i wish i could have that learn to celebrate people man yeah. learn to celebrate. and 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 sorry 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 but but uh, but what i wanted to say actually was um i thought you were going to go a slightly different direction it's also really important to feel secure enough in your relationship to celebrate yourself loudly and to know that your partner is going to receive that mm. so well and they 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 you're going to be shouting at the top of your lungs and then they're going to try to shout even louder, louder. for you mm. you know what i'm saying and 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 they're going to they they're going to be picking up the phone and telling their friends and telling their family and you know about your achievements mm. you know that's that's also re- i mean in the spirit of what we're talking yeah, about yeah. that's also really important yeah you know? I, I remember a time I, I can't say that i was struggling with i think you were on a soapy mm. and at the time i had just left a business and I was sort of like a stay-at-home mom, but it happened. Mm. I, I left the business and then we fell pregnant with Ruo. And then I found myself at work, at home, while I was trying to... I, I had another mini business that wasn't really taking off. And then by default, I was a stay-at-home mom. And I remember, I think the times when I felt frustrated, I was happy that you were doing well. But I, the times when I felt frustrated was when... I just didn't have my own money mm. and you were taking care of everything. Mm. I just feel like women need to make their own money. That's mm. how you can not necessarily be challenged. You could be challenged by a partner's success in the sense that you could be resentful of the situation. Not mm. that you want him to do uh, badly or mm. poorly, mm. but at that point in your life, you're just like, oh, oh, you know, you get an allowance and then your husband asks you, Okay, then you want to so more. So what did you like, do with you? their money? Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, don't be that girl. Please. 
Just don't, don't be. I, I, I don't want to be that girl, baby. Yeah. I don't want to be that girl. I don't want to be asked what I did with my money. Yeah. Because the thing is, you know that I'm responsible. Yeah. Right? But yeah. I feel like when you are carrying the burden of an entire family, yeah. you are. Yes, it's a, your pride and joy. Yes, you, yes, you're, yes. You're, you're proud for sure. that yeah. you are taking care of one, two, three. Yeah. But now, if. At the back of your mind, you're feeling like your wife is not necessarily spending the money wisely or they're splurging or whatever. Then you could also start feeling a bit for sure resentful about your duty as a man. And I think people are different. So, so it's important to know your dynamics mm. as a couple and what makes you tick and what makes you blow up and what brings calm and what brings peace because it'll never be the same for any two individuals. Sure. There's a household out there where the man is the sole provider um, financially. Uh, the woman is a homemaker. The wife is a homemaker and she raises her children, uh, raises their children yeah. at home. Her children. <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> uh, you know, uh, and raises the children yeah. and he comes back from home and uh, he gets a hot plate of food and dessert, <laughs> and 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 it works. Yeah, and it works. Yeah. The, nothing against that. Yeah, but understand who you are. Yes, as a couple. Yes, and what's going to work for you? Because in 2022, we've got options, mm. right? So, what do those options look like, and how are we going to coexist? self-actualize and be happy with our setup mm -hmm. and talk about it because by the way just because you signed up for that 15 years ago it doesn't mean that you're still happy with that today yeah right and you're allowed to change your mind and i think baby also it's important for people to have those conversations before they get married because as much are, as possible as much as but but this conversation is so important because yeah. I know of people, like when we got married, mm. I was very honest. Mm. I was like, I'm not a 50-50 kind of girl, mm. especially when it comes to finances. Mm. Guys, please don't, sh don't you know. Uh, no, it's cool. <laughs> we found what works for us. And We're cool. Cause I, but, but because it was informed by my upbringing as well. Mm. I spoke, I, we speak about this, that I grew up in a family where my dad was providing for the bigger stuff, Right the bond, the car, the, you know, the bigger things. And, you know, my mom would take care of the other things in the house, right? And that's why for me, it was never really 50-50 in sure. the home. It's in, in terms of finances, yes. In terms of being present, in terms mm. of bringing yourself, being being in a relationship, it's 100%, 100%. You have to yeah. bring 100% of yourself and 100% of So sp I'm talking specifically about in the context of, you know, the finances, right? And when I walked into my marriage, I was like, babe, I don't think I'm a 50-50 kind of girl, you know, for me. But God had other plans because you guys know our financial journey. Mm. I ended up being a breadwinner for some time and my husband, you know, trying to find his way and so forth and so on. But I feel like that also helped us. 100%. Because, because I... I threw away a lot of the misconceptions about what it needs to look like financially in the home. For sure. You know, but it also helped that you are that guy that wants to do mm. for your family. Yeah. I think it would have been a different conversation if you were not that guy. For if sure. you were the guy that you spoke about when we opened the segment yeah. to say if that then that if I'm that guy who's not serious about providing, yeah. then it's an issue. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I think as well we we don't put enough emphasis mm. on the value in raising a household. I think we put too much, I think we put way too much emphasis on money mm. um, and looking at money as provision, mm. you know? And I'm like, it's an aspect of it. But having been a stay-at-home dad, right, mm. myself, it's a, oh my gosh. And baby, you struggled, let's be it's honest. A, it's work, guys. Yeah. It's a job, you know? And I think we need, to, we need to 
give a lot more women respect mm. and due for the work that goes into raising a family. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's easy to be like, yeah, in daughter must, um, but also like we don't say a woman must because she just does. Mm. Women just do. They don't, they don't, it, it's not a request. It's not, you know, they, they just do. They do what they have to do when they need to do it because it has to be done. Yeah. And, and women need to be celebrated for that, you know? And the reason we're having these kinds of conversations is because as guys, we don't always show up with our end of the bargain mm. to be like, well, you know, you're taking care of things and you're whatever. And, and, and this is, this is, this is my 50, yeah actually you know this is my hundred you were talking about it's a hundred a hundred you know women are always giving a hundred percent of themselves mm. and men aren't meeting them financially which Ooh. they should it, it's a hundred a hundred that's what it is it's it's not yeah you you know I, I feel like women are doing us a solid are doing us a favor when they contribute You're financially such a feminist by the way <laughs> i think that women are doing men a favor when they yeah. when they when they choose to take from their salary and contribute because hmm. it, it, come on let's be real you know you know the other guy other guys are gonna fetch you right yeah for, that's fine for saying that i'm okay be, but I'm but you know baby i think you know it's also happening <clears throat> i think i'm not sure where this trend is coming from but i'm finding that there are I mean, I grew up in the township, guys. I mean, it was normal mm. that, you know, I want to take care of my girl. Mm. And um, I find that a lot more men are so resentful of taking care of women. I'm wondering where that resentment is coming from. Is it coming from the Indota must trend? I'm not sure because I am meeting a lot more men that are just like, nah, if you can't do that for yourself, I'm not, I'm, I, this, why are you expecting me to do it for you? It's, it's, it's the expectation, mm. you know? And, and I think people that expect things from other people that can't do things for, for themselves mm. are a little bit problematic for me. So it's entitlement. It's an, it's entitlement, yeah. you know? And, the problem with entitlement is you create expectation and then from that out of expect you can't be disappointed if you don't have any expectation so a lot of people that have got that put demands on the table me as a person i'm also going oh okay you're demanding this of me so i expect this of you and then when you don't come to the table then i'm hurt because i had expectations hmm. That if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that. I feel like you could meet me halfway by, you know, mm. um, uh, meeting your end of the bargain. And that's all it is, guys. And by the way, both ways, mm. you know, I, th I think that um, men should have an expectation from women and women should have an expectation of men. But before you level expectations on your partner... What expectations do you have of yourself? I think this, you know, because sorry, mm, sorry, oh, sorry, because sorry because this is what we do. You. This is what yeah. we do, right? You, you, you meet somebody, and this is the thing. What are you bringing to the table? What are you bringing to the table? Why am I not asking? Why am I not engaging with somebody and saying, "Hey, this is what I bring to the table." Hmm. That should be the point of departure. This is who I am. This is what I bring to the table. This is what you can expect of me. Now tell me about yourself. Oh, you know, baby, there's, there's a lot of unlearning that we need to do as a society. I think as we, we talk about this, it, it made me think about a lot of the things that we're dealing with as a society, as a community in terms of racism and all these other things. These things they're going to take years, especially mm. even, even this, this financial aspect, because we have a history that tells us that, you know, I mean, we know that in certain communities, women are shipped off to get married so that they can be taken care of. We know, we've heard someone say, find a man that will take care of you. We've heard that. So I think maybe the conversation needs to be different. Mm. The, we're, not, so? we're, not, we, I get, we're not saying that we, 
let's not be damsels in distress. We're not mm. saying that your husband shouldn't take care of yourself. But I feel like when you now do not work on yourself to self-actualize, to also have the ability to provide for yourself, that's why a lot of women find themselves in abusive relationships because now there's that, 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 that power dynamic, right? For sure. Where when you're a damsel, Mm. in distress you can't do anything for yourself yeah i think as a woman go study start that business do things that you want to do be a housewife because you want to mm. not because Corey, you just don't want to work yeah when you are just you know yeah if if being if being a housewife or being uh, uh, whatever vocation is what you want, do it because you want to and not because sure. you've ran out of options. Yeah. You know, so I think it's so important that we need to have a different conversation. So we, ha- we have to have this conversation with our kids. I come from a slightly different background and I'm sure maybe most of us do, right? Where my mom said to me, Pedro, you have to study. You have to get your degree. Your degree is your first husband mm. <laughs> because it will never leave you. Mm. And that's what her dad told her. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I think if we can start having that conversation to say, I want to be with a man, yes, a man who wants to take care of me, not because... I can't take care ha- of myself. Not because I can't take care of myself, but because it's how he wants to minister to me. When I take out my card... He's like, no, baby. It's okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> be the, and, yeah. and we've said this before, be the absolute best version of yourself. Yeah. So that anybody who approaches you, who interacts with you, has to level up. They need to be like, man, mm. this woman, this guy, I just, oh, he... He demands something of me without yeah. asking. Because just the way he lives his life, mm. I'm going to need to level up to be a part of that. Yeah. The way she carries herself, ooh, I'm going to need to level up to be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rather challenge, not to... Inti- and anybody who's intimidated by it is not worth your time. Yeah. But somebody who's challenged and like... Oh, you know what? She's worth it. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm going to go away and I'm going to fix myself because mm. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to, I, I need to make sure that I come correct. You know, I need to make sure that I, I, I've shined my shoes. I've, I've, I've got a new suit on. I've got, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like make <laughs> sure, make sure guys be the best version of yourself yeah. so that anybody, and even if you are in a marriage, and have been in this marriage for 20 years. You still, it's still demanded of you to be the best version of yourself. Don't dumb yourself down yeah. for yeah. your partner. No, be the best version of yourself so that it challenges your partner to be like, man, mm. you know, my wife challenges me all the time. My wife always looks good, guys. Listen, oh, thank like, you, baby. like, like thank looking you. good is a form of good <laughs> manners, right? And she always looks good and I'm learning. It challenges me and I'm going, damn, yeah. you know, I think, I think lately I'm, no, you're amazing. You're on. You know you're on. I mean? You're on. But like, but but that's the thing. I'm learning from her. I'm I'm taking the beautiful traits, the good things, and I'm going. Whoa, this challenges me. So even if she were to like, now she made a bag, right? And I'm like, yeah, baby, that's good. Now I need to go and, and come with another bag. You know what I'm saying? It's it it guys. It doesn't have to be a negative thing, right? It like. I need to be challenged by it, not intimidated because in, what intimidation does mm. is I'm going to now start blocking you from things. So, yeah, uh, no, mm. baby, why are you taking that job? No, you need to, no, I need to be like, yo, baby, go for it. Yeah, that's dope. But then I need to look at my own life and be like, okay, this woman is, is on yeah. top of things. Let me see what nuggets I can pick up from her and get my life together and get her moving. Yeah, guys, let's self-actualize. I mean, in closing, i just like to say there's a quote that I heard. I don't know if it's a quote, but I heard someone speak. It was an interview. And they were saying that your partner or someone that you're going to get married to is one of your biggest um, life investments. That's true. You know, because that could either make or break you, right? Mm. And I find that, in ter- like what you were saying, you said it so, so, so beautifully that let's not get uh, intimidated. Mm. You know, let's get... 
uh, uh, what's the word? Challenged to, in a good way, mm. right? Challenged in a good way to want to be the best versions of ourselves. As iron sharpens iron, so, so one, one man, man sharpens, sharpens another. Ari, ari shiny saneng man. Ari, ari shiny saneng. And I think also I'm gonna speak to women. Um, lastly, just to say, as women, let's not stop working on ourselves. But mm. I'm happy to see that there are a lot more women that are just really driven. They are they want to succeed. Um, and I think maybe that's why some women have high standards these days because they're just like, I want a man who's going to match my energy. I'm not about to settle for anything less. But in the same breath, guys, people are evolving. Mm. People are, I'm still, I'm still a diehard romantic. I mean, when I met you, baby, I could see the potential, you mm. know? So be true to yourself. If you're still a potential kind of person, do it. You know, I know some people are just like, there is no way because, because some of us are, you know, some people are burnt. They invested in people's lives and yeah. then people have walked away. But guys, it's that same thing. If you meet someone in the streets and you give them money, what they do with it is none of your, your business. For sure. When from the if if you want if 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 you have this thing in your heart to want to invest in someone's life, do it. And I love what it was Mama who said it. Memo fuking wama cheta. She was like, guys, take your time. You don't meet someone today and you invest in them today. Yeah. You know, suss them yeah. out. Look yeah. at their character. Yeah. And then make that decision. Maybe once you are married, once you are in this relationship together, that I can potentially invest in this person. Because sometimes people invest in the wrong people and then they tire and they are burned and they are resentful. And now they're just like, I'm not going to invest in anyone anymore. But you mm. could have missed your opportunity to invest in the right person. So take your time. Kulilega. Mm. And gents, stop wasting time. When you know, you know. Just yeah. marry that girl. Thank you. <laughs> uh, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, turn on that notification bell to know every single time we upload a new installment. It was great hanging out with I you. I love you. It was amazing. I adore we you. love you. Yeah, we love yeah. you. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out, guys. It was too good. One time. Too real. Oh, yeah. Peace and blessings, people. We out. Bye.